10, 10, or who knows the idea of what we're gonna do for the mids and highs. But as you can see, like we got plenty of clearance, you know, there's plenty of clearance for the mids. Uh, that's not a big concern. So now I'm gonna show you a few designs that I actually have in mind that I actually seen on the internet. What's good, Mousetrap Gang? Welcome back to another video, man. It is your boy Mouse, man, and this is part two of our Silverado project, man. As you can see in yesterday's video, we took apart the door panels that are right there, but we're going to get into those here in a little bit. But for now, all of our projects, you already know where they start off at. No matter what it is, man, you already know what store you go to. You may already guess from the thumbnail and the title of the video, but, you know, drop a comment. Let me know where, where you guys think we're going for, man. We're going to, but enough talking and let's get to work. If you are new to the channel, man, hit that subscribe button. Man, I'm spitting. Uh, man, we do car audio here, man. We, we're trying to step up our game on this uh, fabrication. Uh, we're trying to get ready for car audio finals. I think that's what it's called, September 17th in Plant City, Florida. I think that's where it is. The flyer once again right here. Uh, man, and if you like car audio, man, pull up. You know, I will be dropping vlogs of that um, show as well, so you won't be left out, man. But we're trying to get ready. The Silverado that I'm in right now, for that day man so man subscribe to the channel you're about to see some stuff i gotta make one quick pit stop to the pharmacy because your boy has asthma and my new asthma pump it is ready and the last thing i want to do is pass out on any any of these videos that we be doing man if you ever hear me breathing kind of funny uh, you know it's i run out of breath fast whenever i talk for a long time so i have to hit my pump i have really bad asthma but I try to control as much as possible, but your boy's got that pump ready, and we're gonna go pick it up. Destination, let me turn off the whip. Let me unplug my phone. Other, I'm gonna leave my other phone here. No, I'll take my phone. So let's get it. As you can see, we are here at Walmart, man. Walmart never lets us down. And I'm gonna always keep remaining, uh, coming to Walmart to buy stuff because all of our builds come out badass from everything that we use from Walmart. You know, I sometimes have to walk inside Walmart or sometimes like I'll do like Home Depot when I go like to places like that. I have to walk with the camera somewhat like hidden because for some reason, People or the workers or whoever they always think that like um, If we got a camera we're like casing out the place We're gonna hit a lick on it or something like that, but it's never even much that situation man I'm just recording it, you know just for the you know the the hell of it and we're actually promote this is free promotion for Walmart You know what I'm saying the more that I'd record videos of Walmart or whatever We're just promoting that or Home Depot or wherever we're going man um, So it actually helps them out but, you know, sometimes you get some people that just don't feel comfortable or always just have bad thoughts with everything else, man. But we're on none of that stuff, man. We're here to grind. We're here to get stuff right. Uh, man, we need some stuff that we need for these door panels, but it's not material stuff. So you'll see right now, once we get inside, what we need um, that's going to help us for these door panels. Got Halloween stuff already ready. Oh man, that's badass. So we're not here to get no candy. And more candy. These are my favorite bags right here. All right, so one thing that we are trying to explore with these door panels is we're trying to build them futuristic. 
Um, the ring thing's cool. The grill insert thing is cool. But I think it's time to step it up and us here at this channel build something a little bit more different and a little bit more futuristic um, to be more eye appealing. You see what I'm saying? Because I like to build stuff that is loud and at the same time look good. So I'm actually here to get a notebook, a drawing pad because your boy, if you guys don't know, man, I actually used to be um, an artist, man. I used to like draw a lot and I went to an art school and I love like modern, you know, technology, modern ar architect architecture and you know anything that has to do like modern art you know your boys into that stuff and you know we're here to get a uh, little drawing sketch pad or something so, so we can sit here and draw some designs so we know where we're gonna go uh, and which direction for these door panels so they can look futuristic so I'm actually gonna look around here at this section and then I'm gonna go to the arts and crafts section to find a nice little like drawing pad this one doesn't look that bad, but we need something else. Just looking for a small sketchbook that I can sit here and, you know, draw up some stuff. So here's some sketchbooks right here, mixed media. I don't need nothing too crazy. I need something that I can sketch with. You know, like a sketch diary. Look. Uh, I think that I like that other one better. So let's go look real quick. Let's see what else they got. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna get. Oh, look, here's more sketchbooks. But these are like water books. Mixed media. Uh -huh. hey. Like, that's actually too small right here. We need to be able to see. What we got going on with. Nice. Sketch, sketch, sketch. Okay, so I think we're just gonna go get the other one because we just don't need that much crazy stuff, but we still need to be able to sketch. Okay, we have something here. Alright. Yeah, we're just gonna get this guy right here. It's big enough for what we need to do. Let's look at the pages. Perfect. The other ones were like tan, I like the white. So I think this sketchbook will do. I already got pencils and all that stuff at the house, and I got like a ruler that I can draw with. So we're actually going to sketch up some designs for the doors and then we're going to let you guys pick which one we should go with. I have pretty much an idea of what I kind of want to do, but you know, it doesn't hurt to get the gang's um, opinion, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I do this for you guys, man. I do it for the coach. What we need is... Oh, we're walking out. I'll tell you what, Walmart never lets your boy down, man. We do everything out here. We get everything, man. That, that's good stuff, man. Shop at Walmart. All right, we made it back to the trap. So as you can see, you know, we have our door panel that we disassembled yesterday. If you want to see how to take the door panel apart, man, just simply go back, uh, watch yesterday's video, and I'll show you step by step um, how I took the door panels off. And shout out to the subscriber or the viewer that gave me the tip on breaking the rivets using a um, countersink. And that's actually a good idea because the countersink is like wide versus the drill bit just being straight. So that's an awesome tip. I'm gonna start doing that from now on. So big shout out to you, big dog. So now let's get into the door panel. Okay, so as you can see, um, you know, there, there are rings here. Look, we, let's show you the back of it. Best. Okay, so like you see, there are rings, but look at these things, you know? The guy, whoever built them, had the idea, but obviously they didn't really take their time in making sure that it got done. And as you can see, they just stapled them pretty much together with like a brad nail. Look, there's a brad nails right there. You guys can see them. So they pretty much had the idea, but they didn't really uh, put that much effort into making sure that the um, door panels look, it's even like separating. So we're gonna have to, you know, put these together. We're gonna have to put like a thing of fiberglass mat right here to sandwich it back together and put like a clamp so it goes back on there. You see that? We're gonna have to really um, assemble this door back together again so the structure of it's pretty good. Yeah, for the most part of it's straight. Okay, yeah, so we're, I know we got to work on that. Okay, so basically what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna cut like a good section of this door panel out as you can see and then we're gonna put a piece of flat wood and we are gonna countersink uh, screw holes right here and screw it in place 
and then we're actually just gonna uh, fiberglass mat it from uh, from point A to point B. So it's just really a small layer of fiberglass that we are gonna actually do to it just to attach the wood so it holds up strong. But on that piece of wood, you know, we're probably gonna drill out holes for like 10, 10, or who knows the idea of what we're gonna do for the mids and highs. But as you can see, like we got plenty of clearance, you know, there's plenty of clearance for the mids. Uh, that's not a big concern. So now I'm gonna show you a few designs that I actually have in mind that I actually seen on the internet. I went on down the rabbit hole earlier this morning and late last night, trying to look at different ideas and seeing a couple, you know, awesome fabricators of like interior and i'm slowly gathering up uh intelligence and ideas so i can try to put my own sauce to it so they can be like unique okay so here's some door panels that i'm going to go ahead and show you guys um that i've just seen online uh just to get a small idea uh from just so you guys can see you know in the direction that i want to go with okay so right here this door panel it looks good and everything uh, so you see we can actually even do something like you know you follow like a line like this You see that right there, but we'd have to probably extend it a little bit more Because we're gonna do 10 so we can put like a 10 here a 10 there and just keep the design going like that and like this area right here we could probably just do like um, Tweeter tweeter and you see like an area like that We can put the YouTube name going down like that and then maybe like a piece of suede going along the bottom or since it would be a little bit bigger because we're doing tens uh, do a nice like Alcatara um, design right there with an insert so that's like one idea okay let's go to the next one okay um, so this is another idea right here so obviously we'd have two tens so we would put another ten right here and we just have the design going like this roundabout and then come back out and then you know this section right here like this uh, come out and probably put like tweeter tweeter and then you know obviously it would be like a lower uh, profile door so then like on top of here we could do the YouTube name we have to put the YouTube name no matter what and we have to light it up or we can just stack the the tens you know what I'm saying uh, but this is another good design I really like the circular thing right here so that's maybe an idea we can keep in mind okay and now you see this door panel right here so we would actually probably have to do like something like going up down going up like this coming down and stagger the tens, maybe one ten here and one ten there with grill mesh um, and then you know right here um, a nice little design and maybe the YouTube name right here and then maybe like tweeter and tweeter um, but the tweeters I think we need to do them a little bit high up uh, who knows we may do them on the top portion of the door we'll see what happens but these are just ideas that we're just trying to you know work off of you know we're not necessarily going to copy them but we're just going to get you know uh, something started okay now these right here Okay, so now you see like this one loops around. So we could actually put like a 10 there, a 10 there, and a hard swoop, and then tweeter, tweeter, and then maybe the YouTube name going along like this right here. You know, that's one thing. Um, they're all gonna get wrapped in black vinyl, and then we can probably do like some chrome or some or a stainless steel or something that makes it look good. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna do red LED lights on it as well because we need that thing to glow. Okay, so this is another, you know, example of a door that we could do. We could have it, you know, come out, drop down, um, but obviously we'd have to extend it a little bit more because we do 10, 10, and then tweeter, tweeter, and then the YouTube name right here. Uh, so this is another one. Okay, so you see we can do something like this a little bit more higher profile. Um, we can do like 10, 10, coming back out, and then right here, the YouTube name. Uh, and then like maybe like tweeter, tweeter, or who knows, like I said, we could probably put the mids up here or something like that. Or the tweeters up here and make it look nice but we were we would not do a pocket you know what I'm saying because obviously since they're tens they'd have to come down a little bit further more but you get the idea and it's got like an insert in the back so we would have to do an insert with like that silver so it matches like the handle of the door and whatever silver's inside of the truck but you know I like the the angles on it okay this is one of the last doors right here you see uh, same you know concept you know we can do 10 10 uh, like a big square um, silver with black enter in the back with LEDs um, right here the YouTube name and then maybe tweeter tweeter um, I like this design of the door it's like more futuristic like all these right here are futuristic you know what I'm saying especially when we get like the LED lights going on and everything man it's gonna you know come out pretty good keep in mind all these door panels are actually built with like those templates right there 
but I feel like me personally, I don't need the templates. You know, I got my pencil, I got straight edge, you know, I got a, you know, big yard stick that we can come up with designs. We got the routers, we got the bits, we got everything. So, you know, we, we can, you know, come up with our own stuff. Um, you see it, and they have like a bunch of badass, you know, angles, router edges and everything on them that we will be doing, you know what I'm saying? I like, you know, a lot of these, uh, like, ideas. The very first thing that anybody's going to see when we're giving those demos or anybody steps inside my truck, man, is going to be the door panels. And the door panels need to be, you know, eye-catching uh, right off the bat. And especially when you open up that door and you see that uh, YouTube name, a mousetrap, you're going to know whose truck you're stepping inside of right off the bat. And we need to give, you know, a first impression is, you know, a good impression. So as soon as they walk in there and set foot in the truck to get demos, we need those door panels to be on point so they can be like, okay, okay, we see where we're going with this. And then now when they hear the bass, hopefully it sounds good, which I think it will. Uh, you know, it's, you know, impressive all the way around because we want to try to catch, you know, people's eyes. You know, we want, you know, people to recognize us. Uh, we're trying to move forward with our YouTube journey. And hopefully with this, we have a couple big dogs that are out there. And for some reason, if they happen to make uh, their way to our truck and happen to see the build, uh, you know, they can, you know, take us places where, you know, we never would picture ever going. Um, so, and most of all, you know, I need to be representing for you guys and make sure, you know, all the times you guys sit here and watch the videos um, that I'm doing my part in making sure I build badass stuff to, you know, make sure to please, you know, the crowds, you know, on the behalf of you guys, the Mousetrap Gang, man. So we'll see what happens. I got my notebook. I got my little sketch pad thing that I bought. I got markers. I mean, I got the kids stuff, man. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch up some stuff here throughout the day. It is Friday. I do got to cut hair. So I'm going to, you know, sketch up some ideas. And, you know, later on, maybe tonight or tomorrow's video, I'm going to go ahead and post it. And uh, you guys can help me pick, you know, A, B, C, or D. Or maybe there's, uh, you know, more designs. And then, you know, we'll go with that one. And we'll bring it to life from paper to actual door panel to truck. And then to show. I wanted to let you guys know where we stand out with, with this build. Um, and just to show you guys, man, we, all, we never change our routine, our system of building. Everything always starts at Walmart. I love Walmart. They have everything that we need. Then after that, we're going to go to Home Depot. Um, I'm going to go to Home Depot probably tomorrow and get some wood. But I want to see if they have like different thicks uh, bigger than three quarters for uh, like wood. You know, if they have like one inch, that'd be badass because I want stuff to notice that it's risen. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, this is going to be my first time building some door panels like this. Um, we don't have the templates, but we do have creativity and a vision and, you know, good workmanship and we can make it happen, man. So, um, man, give it a try. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're, we're here to try stuff out, you know, to show you guys that it's possible without all the big tools. Man, like I said, man, this is car audio at your house using basic tools. Uh, you, you don't need the crazy stuff to make stuff look good and sound loud, man. So that's what this whole page is about, man, to show you that we do stuff at the house and it's still, you know, pretty awesome pretty cool so with that being said i hope you guys have a good friday night if you guys go out man be safe uh you guys have to make it to watch these videos you know i have to make sure i'm staying in i don't go out you know what i'm saying i really don't go out uh i gotta work we gotta you know work so we can dump money into the baby and you know have videos for you guys man so hope you guys have a good friday hope you guys have a good saturday morning and i will catch you guys on the next one man peace